Hello and welcome to my vidIQ review where I'm going to be giving you a demo of some of the best features and of course answering the question, is vidIQ worth it? First and foremost, if you do want to test them out, I will leave my link down below in the description. While they do have some paid plans, they do come with the ability to use them free, so you can always try them out first that way. Let's begin. So there's a lot of great features when it comes to vidIQ, and right off the bat, whenever you upload a video or maybe you want to edit a video, you have the ability to get helped with some AI title recommendations. As you can see here at the top, all we have to do is click on this button right here, and after waiting a couple of seconds, you're going to see there's going to be plenty more video titles that you can use. Now, depending on if you want to use your keyword in there, you know, that's what I did here, vidIQ tutorial for beginners. And then the rest of it, you can just get some good ideas of maybe examples you want to use for your video. Of course, if you want more, you can simply click on the refresh button, wait a few seconds, and of course, we're going to have more. But this is a nice touch when it comes to having not only vidIQ, but combining it with the power of AI, which is something you're going to see consistently over this review. Scrolling down a little bit more, even better, they have an AI description generator. So if you don't feel like writing this out, it'll actually do it for you. Let's add in some recommended keywords that we want to use in this. And let's just say I want to create a description on vidIQ tutorial. Let's click on the generate button, see what we get. And while they're not going to be the longest descriptions in the world, it will give you enough details and information that you can possibly add, maybe put in some of it, take some out, or just give you a basis to start from. Here, I'm going to quickly scroll through so you can see what they look like. If you want to actually read them, you know, you can pause the video and do that. But once again, a very nice touch. There is also the ability to create thumbnails, but in my opinion, this is pretty basic. Let's pause this here. Not a whole lot going on here. We, you can utilize solid color. There's obviously other image, or you could just you know check out your current thumbnail, what it's going to be looking like. And there's going to be more to it after you click next. But in my opinion, nothing too crazy, but at least it's a nice feature that they have. Let's dive deeper into the actual dashboard. I think this is where a lot of the fun happens in vidIQ. Starting off with daily ideas. So if you're a YouTube creator and you often struggle to come up with ideas, this is going to be perfect for you. This will give you an overall idea of some good videos that you could create and their titles and their view prediction, which indicates the views your channels could get for this idea. So the ones that are very high are going to be better for you. We also have some more personalized ideas as you scroll down here. And if you want to change this around, you can actually customize it. So I'm going to take out chat GPT and let's do email marketing. And just like that, we're going to get plenty of daily ideas that we can use. Those are going to be similar there. But in terms of email marketing, you can always change that around. So if you're struggling to find ideas, this is a great way to help you out there. Next is going to be their AI content generator. And as I mentioned previously, there's a whole lot of AI going on with vidIQ. And if you like AI as much as I do, you're probably going to like this as well. This, all you have to do is give an information about what video you want to create next. And what it'll do for you is create your title, your description, give you tags. It'll give you a thumbnail, which usually isn't all that great, which is fine. But it will also give you a script and a voiceover. So, so it gives you a lot of information just by adding in like a keyword or phrase. Allow me to show you how it works. All right. So let's say we wanted to create a video about the three tips for improving your YouTube results. Let's click on go, give it some time and see what we get. All right, so there we have it. And keep in mind, yes, this is still going to be in beta. So I'm not going to be too harsh, especially when we get to the thumbnails, like I like I warned you. Okay, so boost your YouTube game with these three simple tips. We do have a description here, something I have noticed that sometimes these don't exactly always match up with what's on the right. Like I said, still in beta, but it's cool that they give you some description text there that you can use or always just change around, you know, delete or maybe add more using your own voice. Scrolling down, we have some keywords or tags that you can also use. And of course, we have our thumbnails. Like I said, don't say I didn't warn you. There is nothing special about these. In my opinion, I'm still going to use my own. But heck, they are there. And I hope that's something that does get improved in the future because I don't know about you. I probably wouldn't use that as my thumbnail. Don't forget about the YouTube script right here. So I will read some of this and there's going to be a little bit more. You just have to kind of scroll. You can't see the scroll bar there though. It's not the longest script in the world, but this is going to be good for say like a short example video, like a cash cow where you do your three tips, you have your video animation in the background. It maybe you know, you lead to say a subscription or signing up for an email or an affiliate link, whatever it's going to be. But I will scroll down a little bit more in case you want to pause and read that. And of course we have a voiceover. I will let you hear what it sounds like very quickly. Hey there, if you're struggling to get results on YouTube, don't worry, you're not alone. Okay, it's not the worst voiceover in the world, but once again, a nice little touch. It is still in beta, so I imagine that's really going to improve in the future. Next, let's move to the keyword opportunities. Uh, keywords, in my opinion, 
vidIQ does very well. It's very easy to navigate. It's very easy to find new keywords. And that's something that's very beneficial. So we have top keyword opportunities here. We have our competition, which is going to be a measure of how many videos are competing for this keyword in YouTube search results. A lower number is better, you know, less competition. We also have the overall score, which is a measure of how attractive this keyword is to you as a creator. A higher number is better. So we're looking for the green here. And what we can do is just simply sort this by the overall. So if we look at these, these are going to have low competition and be great for me specifically. Obviously, it's going to tailor to your specific YouTube channel because you can connect it. And that's what's great about vidIQ. Not only can you connect it to get some great data, but you can connect it and leverage AI at the same time. So instead of going elsewhere and asking questions about a YouTube channel, it knows your stats and your data and your best videos. So it can give you much better and accurate answers. And that's a good thing. Aside from top keyword opportunities, we can simply just do keyword research. Allow me to type in a keyword here and I'll show you how it's done. So keyword research is really a blast here. It's very easy to do and you get so many details, even more ideas that you can use for creating your next video. Once again, we have our search volume here and our competition. Keep in mind that search volume, take it with a grain of salt. It's not always going to be 100% accurate. In my opinion, like this and many other tools, it's going to be a ballpark measure. And that's what I take it as, okay? We also have related keywords. We have matching terms. We have questions, which I think is phenomenal. I think this is one of the best ways to grow your YouTube channel by going after more of the long tail keywords that a lot of people just won't create videos about. Let's take a look at these some of these questions right here. Once again, we can sort this by overall. So that's going to be the like toughest or these are going to be the lowest, which is the best. What should the click through rate in email marketing? That's probably B. Uh, how to split test email marketing, how to start email marketing agency, how to use messengers, email marketing. Like all these are great questions that you can do tutorials or for me examples, since I'm in the like email marketing, internet marketing niche, it's just an endless amount of ideas. And this is just for one keyword and this is just the questions for them. So if you're looking for an endless amount of ideas, this keyword research feature or just the daily ideas are really gonna work very well for you. Speaking of keywords, there's also the rising keywords feature. Feature. I know we keep continuing on. This is a newer feature and it might be hit or miss for you depending on what type of channel you have. This is pretty much going to be some of the global rising keywords across YouTube. If I click on this, it says create video content around trending topics. Rising keywords tell you the topics that are trending on YouTube and provide inspiration for your video content. Our algorithms identify keywords that are jumping significantly in search volume. So let me just give you an example for my channel, uh, Marketing Island. Is Spider-Man 2099 theme going to be any good for me? No. Is Final Fantasy 16? No. Are most of these going to be valuable for me? No. But I know there's a lot of people out there who maybe have like a gaming channel, or maybe they like talking about Transformers and movies or video games or whatever else it may be, or Xbox, right? So if you have a channel that happens to coincide with some of these really big trending keywords, it's really going to be beneficial for you because literally all you need to do is create a video and there's so much demand for it. You're going to show up more. People are going to be clicking on your videos more. So if this happens to be very helpful, it will, but it could be hit or miss depending on the channel that you have. Nevertheless, there's just so many great aspects of their keyword research, whether you're finding keyword opportunities, you're looking for rising keywords, or just looking for new keywords to create videos upon. You're definitely going to be happy with that. Next, let's take a look at the AI coach. Once again, we have even more AI going with going hand in hand with vidIQ. There's so many prompts here that you can utilize, like how to get more views, how to improve titles for video strategies. You can do an audit on your channel if you want. Uh, what video should I double down on? Some great questions here. Channel analysis. This is what I talked about when it comes to actually connecting vidIQ with your channel. It's going to give you very accurate data because it knows your information. So it's going to give you pretty much the answers that you need audience engagement and so on and so forth. But allow me just to do something. All right. So what I did is based on my channel, what video ideas do you have for me in case you want even more ideas, right? So based on your channel focuses on reviews, demos, and tutorials. So we have a title here, top five marketing tools for small businesses. We have a small description, an idea of what we should use for thumbnails, video length, which really, you know, that's up to you how long you want it to be, but they have that there. And of course our target audience. So it does it for each of these, how to create high converting landing pages, a step-by-step -step guide, email marketing, best practices, the power of influencer marketing, social media advertising, in 2023 and so on and so forth. Nevertheless, you can be really creative with this. And like I talked about, this is even better than a lot of AI platforms because you're hooked up with your YouTube channel. So you get some really nice analytics, data, and suggestions. 
And of course, I am going to save the absolute best for last. This is my favorite feature by far. As much as I love the keyword research feature, I think this is even better. It's called trending videos, or at least your ability to find trending videos for specific YouTube channels. So I just went by this. Uh, they're not really in my niche, but they have a lot of great videos I like in terms of, say, like book reviews and, you know, overviews. All you need to do when you go to a channel is you simply click on these three dots here and you do view trending videos. And once that loads, you're going to get some of their best videos where it shows the amount of views per hour. So their best one right here, they're getting around 72 views per hour. And this was uploaded two years ago. So this will tell you that one, it's evergreen. Two, you're probably going to want to create a video that's similar or at least around a similar keyword. And you can do this for any single YouTube channel pretty much possible. So what it allows you to do is find some of the best videos that are still doing well right now. So sometimes what you're going to see is like this was created, you know, 17 days ago. Usually videos that were created like one day ago, two days ago, or maybe a few weeks aren't going to be as best because they're still fresh. And if the if they have a very big audience, you know, of course, it's going to get a lot of views. But the ones that still do well over time, over a year ago, eight months ago, five years ago, four years ago, that tells you that a lot of people are watching this. There's a lot of demand for it. And that's a very good indicator that you should create a video around something very similar. So even better than keyword research is not only getting the keyword research, but seeing which videos are actually getting a lot of views. I think that's even more powerful than kind of getting like the ballpark, how many views it's getting, where you can actually see it right here. And that's something I think you're really going to love once you grasp how big of a deal that is. I have yet to find that in any other YouTube software. I was looking for a similar feature and I'm glad vidIQ has it because that is easily my favorite feature. So is vidIQ worth it? I'm sure you can tell by now what the answer is going to be. But in conclusion, I would have to say that vidIQ, it's an invaluable tool for anyone seeking success in the competitive world of online video creation. With its comprehensive suite of features and analytics, vidIQ provides creators with the necessary insights and optimization tools to maximize their reach, engagement, and overall impact on platforms, of course, like YouTube. By harnessing the power of data-driven strategies and implementing actionable suggestions, vidIQ empowers creators to understand their audience better improve their content quality, and ultimately grow their channel organically. So whether you're a seasoned YouTuber or just starting your journey, this is a tool that you should definitely check out, especially the trending videos feature, which I just showed you. Nevertheless, I will leave my link down below where you can test them out. Don't forget they come with a free plan. And if you want some of these better features, that's where the upgrade can come in. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below, as I know there's so many more features on vidIQ, but I just wanted to showcase some of my favorite ones that I think you're really going to like. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.